help heather i am such a black and white thinking person all or nothing i just can't seem to get out of that so good news all right go listen to the thinking leads to eating playlist that i've been putting together for you we're going to take that kind of concept away slowly by really going through how your thinking leads to eating understanding your lower brain versus your higher brain but that is a total lower brain thing. So we want to have a conversation. It's not you that's black or white or all or nothing. It is your lower brain. That's the only way it sees things. It only sees things as, ooh, that's bad. Let's not do it. Or, ooh, that's good. Let's do more of that, right? So walking's great. Let's go ahead and walk for an hour. This is a point of struggle for almost everybody uh, because their lower brain mixes in. So if I have a client, I'll say, what's your minimum on walking? They'll be like, well, I don't see any point in even doing it if I can't get in 45 minutes. I said, what about 10? <laughs> like, you know, we, we can't set a minimum of 10 because we think we should do 45. Our lower brain comes in and it kind of micromanages everything. Like if we're gonna lose weight, we're gonna cut out all treats. Why do we have to cut out all treats? Who made that rule? Where did that come from? Your lower brain is trying to protect you in a, as much of a loving way as it can. And what it's always gonna do is set these really harsh rules and regulations to try and make sure you are successful. Ooh, I'm going on a diet on Monday. Well, I'll eat all the crud today before I go on the diet tomorrow because you know I can't have any of that food in the house. <laughs> it's, it's literally, that is where your lower brain comes in. It's trying to protect you. It offers up these solutions. It gives you these lists of things we have to do or how we have to do things. And it's always going to be black and white. So if you were to say to me, hey, Heather, how can I identify my lower brain? That's it. Here's the difference. You're listening to one of my my podcast episodes you hear me coaching somebody they are stuck with their lower brain thinking and when you hear me make a suggestion you've already figured it out how is that possible how do you see it for them but you don't see it for yourself because in that moment you're using your higher level brain your higher level brain can see solutions for people that are not you but it has a very hard time seeing it for yourself because it identifies with the I, the me, the you story. It's protecting you, it's not protecting them, okay? So your lower brain can hear a podcast episode, maybe somebody struggling with the exact same thing you have struggled with, and you're listening to me coach them, and you're like, you're cutting me off, like you're listening to it, you're cutting me off going, this person needs to do this. How can they not see that? Because you're using your higher level brain in that moment. You're listening to the podcast, you're thinking through solutions because you're, you're that part of your brain is working and your lower brain is shut down. But when you're stuck with what you're doing, guess what? Your lower brain comes in and it's trying to protect you. It's trying to save you from demise. It's trying to save you from embarrassment. It's trying to save you from failing. And it's coming in with this regimented list of we do this versus this. And you could have repeated that cycle 30 times and you still don't see it for yourself. Why? because you are not engaging your higher level brain. And so what you wanna to start to do, right, if you're stuck in this all or nothing, black and white thinking, start writing down what it is that you're struggling with. And then come back later and maybe talk it out with somebody else. Talk it out with a friend. Cause you know, it's so funny, I do this for myself, just so you know. I'll have lower brain thoughts come in and, and if it was anybody else, it was my coaching client, it was my husband, it was a friend, I can clearly see in that moment what to do. Um, but then what happens is when it's me, when I am the, when I am the, uh, the, the main character of the story, I can't see it, right? So I actually spent some time working on this with my husband the other day where I had all these thoughts. I spoke them out. I actually di didn't share what I was struggling with with him because I knew if I did, it would just make the situation worse. But what was interesting is I stopped thinking about it for a minute and I focused on something else and guess what I came out with a better solution my pre my my thinking brain kicked in so the reason I would encourage you to write it down okay so I struggle with tracking all day long hypothetically that's the problem and what typically happens in your probably lower brain is one of the messages you get is I have to either track everything or nothing I can't make a mistake da, da, da. write all that down share it with another person or speak it out loud to yourself at a time when you're not really in the moment of struggling with it. And ask yourself, if I was listening to this on a coaching call, if Heather had a coaching person on the show, 
what would I instruct that person to do? And maybe give it a different name, maybe treat it like somebody else's story, because you know what to do. You've heard the podcast, you've watched the videos, you know the solution. You, but in that moment, when it's actually occurring to you, I have to do all or nothing, black or white thinking, it's gotta be this way, yada, yada, yada. You're in that moment, you can't clearly see it because your higher level brain is not actively engaged. Sorry about the dogs barking. Um, lots of dogs barking. So hold on, let me shimmy up this way here. Um, so what you have to keep in mind, right, is that you, in that moment, it's kind of like one brain's turned off and one brain's turned on. You need to give yourself some space, come back to it just like you would a podcast episode, listen to it, talk it out. And write down, out of all, I mean, my gosh, I'm over 500 podcasts at this point. Um, I've done gajillions of videos by this point. Go back and see, what would Heather recommend? If this was somebody on Heather's show, what would I say? Because you'd know, you do. And if you don't, listen to more of them, you'll figure it out. But in that moment, that's why it has to look that way to you. It's not because it's your thinking brain. It is your lower brain. Lower brains only see things in black and white, all or nothing. It's a protection of you, the identity of you. It doesn't see it for other people. That's why you can see it clearly for others when they're struggling. That's why when you're talking to your friend, you can be empathetic and compassionate because you don't have to defend them failing or not failing. It doesn't really, I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything to you, but on the, on the sense of how that's gonna affect you, it's not the same, okay? So I hope this makes sense. It's a little bit of a deeper concept, but it's a really good one because I know so many people think that's them. It's not them. They see solutions outside of the box. They just don't see it when it's them as the main character. You getting this out of your head onto paper, talking it out, listening to the podcast, pretending like this was a podcast person, and talking it out and looking at it, you totally can. Now, it doesn't mean also your lower brain won't mix in when you go to do it and say, oh, we shouldn't do it this way, we should do it that way, yada, yada, yada. Of course, it's gonna try to micromanage you, but know that you have the, the capacity and the ability to see what I like to call gray. And when I was caught up in my thinking, especially in my weight loss, it was totally black or white thinking. I had to find that gray area and use my higher level brain way more because my lower brain is what kept causing me to crash and burn with journaling, with going to get meal plans and grocery shopping and all those basic things because it's solid as it had to be this way or that way, but it's not true. There's a gray area in between, which is what your higher level brain sees, and you just need to activate that by talking it out, by using the stuff you're learning from the show and say, okay, this was somebody on the show right now and they said all these things. What might Heather recommend? What would she maybe suggest that they do? Because you've probably heard me talk about it. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope that this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. And in the description below, I have links to that podcast uh, that we've talked about. It comes out every Monday for free. I have resources that would be helpful for you, including my VIP email. You can find all that in the description. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.